Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we don't have a mach -E video. Actually, I actually have a video about the Polaris Slingshot. Uh, this is some video I took a little while back uh, before I had the mach -E. um, It's just a car I rented locally and tried it out for a weekend and had a lot of fun. So uh, I'll walk you around the car sitting here in the garage uh, a little while back and I uh, hope you enjoy it. What's called the Polaris Slingshot. So Polaris typically makes like ATVs and you know, other kind of recreational vehicles. And uh, this is what's called um, technically an auto cycle. So it's really a cross between a car and a motorcycle. The motorcycle aspect of it, cause well, it only has three wheels. So the back has a single wheel. Um, it also doesn't have any doors. There's no roof. Um, it does actually have a little windshield. Um, but yeah, it's, it's truly a cross between a motorcycle and a car. Um, I think it's fantastic. It's super fun. So let me, let me show you around. So in the back here, we've got a single uh, 20 inch tire. It's a 285 width, so it's pretty, pretty wide. Um, it, this is rear wheel drive, so it's belt drive, just like a motorcycle would be. The tail lights here. This is a third brake light up here, which lights up in red when you put the brake on. Um, it's got two uh, seats, of course. Um, this is actually a pretty nice leather. It's kind of, it, it's, you know, cushy. I don't really know if it's actually leather. It's, um, it's a material that's made to get wet. So since there's no roof, if you left this outside, it could get wet, it wouldn't get totally ruined. So the seats are actually really comfortable, I think. Um, you know, it's kind of the perfect thing you'd want to go to the beach or whatever, you know, hose it down, wipe it down, not a big deal, but still fairly comfortable. Um, steering wheel here, it's got a uh, tachometer, speedometer. Um, it's also a stick shift. So it is a five speed manual, um, three pedals, and it's really fun to shift. Um, e-brake as well. Um, it shifts real nicely. Um, it's easy to downshift and rev match. Um, so the, the manual really adds even more kind of excitement to it. There's no rear view mirror, but you do have these side mirrors that work pretty well. Um, let's see, coming around to the front here, um, you can see the, the engine through here. Um, at the end of the video, I'll, I'll, I'll open this up and show you that. It is a uh, four cylinder. Um, here's the front. So it's got four headlights, one on each side and two in the center. And uh, here, let's go ahead and get in it. And you can, well, let me turn the headlights on first. So first thing is we need the key. So this is it's the logo slingshot. Kind of reminds me of uh, like the Back to the Future um, flux capacitor kind of look. You know, you're, you're uh, half expecting that the flux capacitor would be sitting right here. So if we turn this on, so the lights come on, um, fuel pumps running, and uh, there actually isn't a way to turn the headlights off. Um, they're just, they automatically come on, I'm sure for safety reasons, and uh, really lights up things pretty well. Um, you can also see the lights in the back here. So really, you know, pretty good visibility in terms of looking at this thing on the road, you know, in comparison to something small, um, like a motorcycle or something. Um, and then to, to start it, you actually push this button here. Um, so I'll do that here in a second. Uh, let me walk around the front to the other side. Uh, it does have turn signals. So if we turn the turn signal on, you can see it. And you can see the back one going against the garage door there. Just a really cool look to this car. So if we hop in the passenger seat here, there's a grab bar and kind of a metal frame. 
so if we sit down, you get a uh, glove box here, which actually gives you quite a bit of space in here. So, you know, no issue to put your hat, sunglasses. You could even get, you know, a jacket or maybe a small lunch or something in there. Um, this is all open. I've seen some other slingshots actually have like a, a radio in here. Although I'm not, I guess you could listen to music in here, but you're just kind of enjoying the open air, at least from my perspective. So this one does not have a radio. There's also no heat, um, no AC. Um, so it's really just you and the open air. You can see the driver area. It does have two cup holders, which is super nice for drinks or water or something. Um, roll cage bars up here. This is metal. Um, and you can see it's actually, these bars are actually slightly higher than the Mustang is, although where we're sitting, we're, we're definitely sitting lower than the Mustang. All right, let's go on the driver's side. Turn off the turn signal here. So here's from the, the driver position, pretty cool. And um, it also actually, like I was showing you, it has uh, turn signals. You can also turn the brights on, which um, the two lights in the center open up some kind of mechanical flap so it'll shine up even higher um, so, you, so you get brights. And then um, if we want to start it up here, um, clutch in, put on the brake, the key is on, and then you just push this to start it. So I'm in the garage right now, so I'm going to turn it back off. You just turn the key. Um, let's see, you've also got your, uh, your hazards here traction control. Um, these are some blanks. I'm not sure what the other options are you get. Um, yeah, so pretty cool. This thing has uh, just a little over 8,000 miles. When we picked it up, it had, we've probably put about 150 miles on it, maybe about 100, something like that. Um, so yeah, a lot of fun. Let me uh, let me show you the engine. It's a four-cylinder engine, and uh, you actually the hood pulls forward, so you lift this up, and then you pull this out, and you can see the engine in here. So four-cylinder engine. Um, I think he said he put this cold air intake on it. Um, stock, I think it's 175 horsepower, so um, I don't know what else he's done to it. So it's probably, you know, upper 100s. I don't think it's over 200, um, but it's plenty for how small this car is. Um, I mean, you can see where the Mustang front end is here. Okay. And then in the back, it's pretty much in line. Mustang's probably still back a little further, so it kind of gives you an idea of how short it is. And I've got the, the hood open, which actually is, an, is even extending it a little bit further right now. So really small. So yeah, to wrap up the video here, um, yeah, it's just, it's so much fun. It, probably the best way to enjoy this car is, you know, driving about 40, 45 miles an hour just cruising. Once you get up to 60, 65, um, especially on the interstate with traffic and stuff, you know, then you're starting to want, you know, a helmet on for who knows what debris is coming or, you know, bugs and stuff like that. But around town on, uh, the, uh, the streets that aren't too busy or two lane highway, that's just perfect. <laughs> it's super fun. So that's a Polaris slingshot and, uh, we'll catch you another time.